Ever wondered why some of the world's most intelligent creatures, whales, suddenly strand themselves on beaches? Sometimes in dozens or even hundreds. New Zealand just witnessed one such heartbreaking event. At Twilight Beach, or Painga Rehia, near the northern tip of New Zealand's North Island, 29 pilot whales were found stranded. Despite efforts, 27 of them died, and the government placed a rahui, a traditional Maori spiritual ban, to allow cultural mourning and environmental cleanup. Rescue wasn't possible due to the remote location, strong tides, and poor condition of the whales. Now here's where geography meets science. New Zealand and nearby Australia are known hotspots for such events. Why? Because they're surrounded by deep oceans and complex coastlines, places where whales navigate using echolocation. A tiny navigational error, geomagnetic anomaly, or even sonar interference can confuse the pod's leader. Once the leader strands, the entire group follows. A tragic display of social bonding. Researchers have also found links between mass strandings and solar storms, which disrupt Earth's geomagnetic field. The same field whales may use like a natural GPS. So changes in Earth's magnetism, tides, or undersea noise pollution can all play a part. This isn't just marine biology. It's physical geography, ecology, and culture intertwined. From geomagnetism to indigenous conservation ethics, it's a real-world UPSC case study in man-environment relationship. So next time you hear about stranded whales, remember, the ocean has its own mysteries we are yet to decode.